Hi, my name is Lona. I'm a psychotherapist and I want to talk today about some press and statistics about 50% of women not feeling safe at night. And I have to say, I have a very, very strong opinion on this. This is in the press because of the Sarah Everard case at Clapham Common and also what's being picked up is the case that happened in Wimbledon with Rachel Nickell. Absolutely appalling. So there's something that I need to speak about this. So the statistics are saying 50%. I would say that's absolute rubbish. It's more like 100%. If it's even 99%, I would question what risky, as a, as a therapist, you know, what risky behavior that woman may be um, taking part in or how her awareness, her self-care, awareness of self and safety and others is that low. The reality is, and it's quite shocking to me that some people believe this is finished with now because we people talk about me too and we talk about it now but it is literally every day every night and i'm making this video because the lights are getting dark again now i'm asking you to bring this to your awareness for your safety your friends um family members partners and to have some awareness of this it hasn't gone away it is still real it has never been safe for women to walk at night. And the, the number one reason is, is that we think we are going to be assaulted and raped. Yeah, we think we are going to be assaulted and raped because this is what has happened over thousands and thousands and thousands of years to women. So it's not just okay now, the fact that this is talked about in the press. Um, it's often shocking when um, I see the reaction of men who don't know that this is what we live with and it's very important that now as women um, and people who are from disadvantaged groups start to speak about this, about that uncomfortableness that that feels. The best part of lockdown for me was that the pubs were closed. For the first time in my whole life was I able to walk the streets at night and feel safe because there was no threat of drunk men in the streets. Um, you know, the reality is that women now are walking with keys and I used to do this and I still do this, yeah? In a car park, if I'm on my own at night, the keys are in the hand here. I may have changed my shoes so I know that I can, I've got shoes that I can run in. And also I want to just raise awareness generally that this is still a problem. Just three days ago, I was followed up a street in broad daylight and a man came up to me and started talking to me and I was absolutely shocked that this man had followed me because I'd seen him earlier maybe three minutes earlier and he'd followed me all the way up this street so this is all women and girls and young girls we've had this our whole life so Anne Yealy um, a chief executive from the NGO Reprive recently tweeted that for all those women who text their mates to let them know they got home safe, who wear flat shoes at night so they can run if they need to, who have keys in their hands ready to use, it's not your fault, it never is. So many of us have stories behind being assaulted and it's never our fault. Um, really interesting, this quote from the singer Nadine Shaw said that she'd been followed home too many times to count and once had to hide in a bush for over an hour until two men gave up looking for her. I could hear them plotting explicitly what they were going to do to me and laughing. So this is real, right now, and it is, it, we are in at the end of 2021. When I was about 16, I was followed home. Um, a bus had dropped me off at an earlier bus stop and I was followed home um, by a man. And from that day for about two years, I carried a knife in my bag on a night out I had a knife because the keys didn't feel enough now I, now I use the keys know that every woman's using the keys that we're not safe so that's why we don't park in certain places just question it as men question it why 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 doesn't she want to park there what is this and women let's start speaking about it and educating our friends boys sons partners about because we just keep it to ourselves. and um, when that happened to me the other day I, d I forgot about it for a few hours because it goes in the file in women's brains where oh that's that just happened and we don't speak about it because we're so used to it we need to speak about it if something's not okay we ring the police we report it it's not okay so 
This is why we've got our backs to the wall. This is why we need to be safe. We've been brought up knowing that we have to put, not leave our drinks on tables. We have to cover our drinks. Why? Because we think someone's going to drug our drink and then rape us. So there's a couple of really great shows that highlight it. So the movie Promising Young Woman from earlier in the year. Please watch this with your partners. Uh, there is a trigger warning there. Um, please watch it with your partners. It is, it's the, and without me too, that film would never have been made. Would never have been made. Um, it's a fantastic film. Also, there's a show on Netflix called Master of None. And I would recommend, please, go to the seventh series. It's called Ladies and Gentlemen. And it's about how men say walking home through the park in New York. It is a 360 from how that is for a woman. You know, the, man, the men will think, oh, well, that's a man walking his dog, whereas we think it's a rapist. So I also just need to highlight here that one in five men also feel unsafe. People from disadvantaged groups will feel unsafe. People from diverse groups also will feel unsafe. Let's keep going. Let's stay safe. I'd love to hear your comments below. Thank you.